In this video we'll briefly discuss what is triazolam, and how it works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, contraindications and precautions. Triazolam is a sedative and hypnotic agent. It belongs to a category of medications called benzodiazepines. It potentiates the action of GABA, which is an inhibitory neurotransmitter, resulting in increased neural inhibition and CNS depression, especially in limbic system and reticular formation. It is available as 125 micrograms and 250 micrograms tablets. And it is used in the short-term management of insomnia. The usual dose for adults is 125 micrograms to 250 micrograms before bedtime, up to a maximum dose of 500 micrograms. And the usual dose for geriatric patients or debilitated patients is 125 micrograms at bedtime. Triazolam may frequently cause anterograde amnesia, daytime anxiety, and ataxia. And it may occasionally cause agitation, confusion, or mood disturbance. And it may rarely cause respiratory depression, depersonalization, and derealization, or psychosis. Triazolam may cause sedation, headache, and drowsiness, so it should be administered with caution when driving or operating machinery. It may also cause dependence and tolerance, so the dose may need to be changed under the supervision of the healthcare provider. And at the end of treatment, doses should be reduced gradually to avoid withdrawal syndrome or rebound effect. Triazolam shouldn't be administered to patients with hypersensitivity to benzodiazepines, pre-existing CNS depression, uncontrolled severe pain, and suicidal tendency. And it also should be avoided in pregnancy. Triazolam shouldn't be combined with alcohol or any other CNS depressants because of the risk of increased CNS depression. And it shouldn't be combined with theophylines as it may antagonize sedative effects. Avoid intake of alcoholic beverages or other CNS depressants, such as sleeping pills, antihistamines, and narcotics, unless specifically ordered by your physician. This medication may cause morning drowsiness or tiredness, so avoid driving or performing other tasks requiring mental alertness. And notify your physician if dizziness or excessive drowsiness occurs. And also avoid taking any OTC medications without consulting your physician. And finally, this medication should not be abruptly discontinued. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more medical videos like this one.